Doris has had the reputation of being a wonderful map ever since it was released back in 2009, and in this video I'm going to convey just that, how it lives up even after 12 years of existing. So welcome everyone to another episode of A Gameplay Experience, this is where we look at solely the gameplay in every Zombies map except the Black Ops 3 maps because I don't have those, well I do except they're on my Xbox 360 of which doesn't have a built in recording software so we're stuck on the Xbox One and any backwards compatibility we can get. Anyway, if you are unfamiliar with the series, we look at five total concepts to tackle, and then we come up with a final rating. So in order, we'll be taking a look at a map's innovation, creativity, themes, difficulty, and lastly, cons. So, I don't know what's holding us back from getting started, so let's get right into it right here, right now. The two things that Doris introduced for innovation would be Pack-a-Punch and Major Easter Eggs. What's fantastic about both of these things is that they are staples of Call of Duty Zombies even today. Being in pretty much every single map since. It's a very wonderful thing. Too few things, but two huge things. That's the picture we're looking at here. And tying that into creativity in one here, Pack-a-Punch is one of the best things that Zombies has ever seen. Paying 5,000 points to insert your standard boring weapon into this machine for it to come out a few seconds later... With additional strength and ammo and everything like that with a whole new name that tends to be a pun or just generally cool compared to what it used to be. It has a lot of charm and that's what Zombies is full of. Charm. And that's what I genuinely love about Pack-a-Punch. And Easter eggs, well, though they are main staples of story here, the gameplay processes to achieve them have grown ever since this map was made. And this is something new in this map. So as a whole, innovation and creativity, I think Doris has a super strong start already. Regarding Doris and its themes that it brings, it's a nice looking map as far as what it's trying to convey goes. It's supposed to be this rundown laboratory with the dead crawling everywhere as you can see, and it clearly conveys this through the debris that's on the ground, the destruction that the dead has left behind, the blood stains on the walls. It does an amazing job of that. And I have to point out that the skybox with the lunar eclipse in the sky is absolutely beautiful. On to difficulty for Doris. And once again, it's been hit out of the park by Doris. The thing I love about Doris is that as a whole, it's an intermediate map. Its difficulty is meant to be for all players. Newcomers can play this map and get progressively better. And older players can come here for a pretty easy time as a whole. A lot of people would debate that Doris is in fact a very easy map. But if you didn't know how to train, I can tell you this map wouldn't be so easy. So as a whole, I think the difficulty is super welcoming to new players and very skilled players too. It's good for skilled players if you want a simple time. And good for new players if you want to become a better player. As a whole, the difficulty is perfect, and I think this is where most maps should base their difficulty off of. Our last concept would be its cons, and Doris has a couple cons. However, they are not super major, so I will just point them out and explain where I'm coming from. So first off would be the activation of Pack-a-Punch. The teleporters are a little bit tedious to activate, and you do have to go out of your way to do it to a small degree. However, it's nothing too big as the map itself isn't too big, so... It takes no more than about 20 seconds to get from point A, B, or C to D. So no problem there aside from just a little bit of tediousness. And regarding the activation of Pack-a-Punch, when you activate a teleporter, a drop will spawn right at the area in front of the stairs that leads up to Pack-a-Punch. That area is pretty small, and you're probably going to die going for it if you're in the middle of a round or just genuinely on a higher round, so... I'd advise that you be smart when you grab that thing, or you just don't grab it at all. So, yeah, I think that's all I have to say for the cons of Doris. Nothing too much. As a whole, it's a pretty good map. As a whole, Doris hits the ideas of innovation and creativity very well. On top of that, they conveyed the map's theme with very good visuals as a whole, and the difficulty is very appropriate for all players with very few cons to negate all that good work. So, if you want my honest opinion, I believe that Doris is deserving of a 9.0 out of 10. A very well made map with very few flaws to negate all that great work that it put into creating itself. Well done, Treyarch. That's all I gotta say about this whole thing. There's not much to improve on from here without being really petty. So, as a whole, 
this is probably your first truly great map of all time.